Hey legends, guess what's in the box? I went to Carbotech. When I probably shouldn't have went to Carbotech. So we got a fun game of assembly. So much styrofoam. But I've got a big dust extractor. One horsepower. Big beast of a thing. So, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pull it out of the box and uh, I'll start assembling it. Alright guys, here she is in her glory. I didn't waste much time uh, putting it together. I was going to film it all. It's a waste of time. The instructions don't make any sense, but it's fairly self-explanatory. Basically, base, upstand, motor, and pump assembly, which is all one piece. Join that to the dust separator. Top bag, bottom bag. Hose was extra. I had to buy that. It was like 40 bucks or something. That's th three meters when it stretches out. Because it's a suction, you don't really need a clamp or anything on there. Um, that pretty well. It stood up until I touched it, so that's pretty awesome. Now, it's rated at 4 amps, 4.8 amps. Um, it says 750 watts, but 4.8 amps is like 1200 watts, so I don't know. Like, yeah, almost 1200 watts, like 1100 and something watts. At 240 volts, so I don't know what the hell they're talking about there. One horsepower, anyway. Uh, they're confused in one way or another, they're confused. Um, it's got a warranty. I thought it had a big air leak, but it's actually the cooling fan on this motor actually is quite substantial, so that's good. The motor's sealed. Um, the cooling fan's quite powerful. Like most workshoppy equipment, it's got this lock off switch. Obviously, a reset button. Some safety. Didn't do a very good job of strapping that on there, did I? Hang on, I'll just fix that. Right there, we got that clamp better now. So, let me fire it up for you. It's uh, not that loud. Uh, it's pretty echoey in here where we are at the moment in the shop. But uh, the unit itself's not all that loud. Let's slide the safety out of the way. Now the idea being, whatever goes in there, aside from things like plastic and metal, it shouldn't go in there. It should get separated in this section, because there's a uh, big like, ring. So as the air flow blows in there, it runs around the ring, it should drop into uh, the bag. Like that. That's just busted up pieces of floor leveler. So it doesn't so much draw a vacuum to so the actual vacuum is not very strong it's all about airflow it's made to suck in a really really bulk quantity so I want to try it for things like concrete dust I'm hoping the separation drops stuff out of the air pretty well so I'm gonna have a go at grinding some concrete and I'll see if we can get some concrete dust in the bottom of it and I'll come back <laughs> 